Hi guys. So in case you live under a rock or something, VidCon happened and it was flapjack and amazing. It was really cool. I I wasn't there in case you didn't see my giant big rant video about how I wasn't going to be there and how I was really super sad that I was going to not miss be it there. I can't talk today apparently. Yeah, it was super cool. I watched a bunch of live stream and the stuff that I wanted to see that I missed on the live stream. I watched on YouTube. It was really cool. It was really cool. It was really cool. It was really cool. Charlie McDonald was pretty, he was, he was pretty funny. Alex Day did an awesome set and all caps was, was really freaking awesome. And Live Love Live was really funny. A bunch of people, I mean it was, it was fantastic. I only saw the speakers in the concert and stuff. I didn't see all the other stuff that apparently was fantastic as well. Enough about VidCon though. I don't usually point out comments but it was, it was especially nice. I would like to say thanks to the person who said they wanted to put me in a box and feed me marshmallows. And that really touched my heart. This video actually has a theme. Ah, theme, theme, theme. This week's theme is music. Yeah, music. I'm gonna say my favorite music, but there's also loads of other stuff I'm gonna talk about in music. Prepare yourself. Mainly I listen to oldies rock and show tunes and folk music, so that's really cool. Oh yeah, I have my ACDC shirt on for this video, or one of them. I have a bunch. I don't... Anyways. I also listen to... Not really folk, I guess. I said folk, but it's more like local music, so I can really connect with the musicians, you know? In that video, I don't know if you saw it, I made a video about how I went to Wisconsin, and I put music behind it, and I totally failed at putting the music behind it, but it's gorgeous music. It's the whole song. It's, it's actually written by a local music, Ginger Lee or mo local music, local musician, and she's absolutely fantastic. She's a friend of mine, and she's a really amazing artist. So we have favorite music, and that's kind of obvious when you're doing a music-themed week or video or whatever, but I also kind of want to talk about, you know, how music is, is one of those things that it'll really stand out to you about a moment in time. Like, you'll hear a song, and you'll go back to that moment. Sort of like, um... Yeah, I've, I've got a bunch of those, you know. Whenever I hear like Hilary Duff or Cheetah Girls, I think of those dance routines that me and my sister did in the living room. Or whenever I think of the song I'll Cover You, I always think of my friend because we always sing it together and I have so many memories of just singing it different places with him. And whenever I think of the song Traveling Soldier, it was covered by the Dixie Chicks. Some other dude made it, but whenever I think of that, I always think of my cousins. I, I was hanging out with my cousins and we were probably like 12 at the time. And we are obsessed with this song, and I still know every word of that song, and I can sing it back to front, I swear to god. We were so obsessed with that song, we sang it all the time. I guess my question for Zoe and Laura, what are, do you have any really outstanding, m like, musical moments? Like, whenever you think of something, it brings you back to that exact moment? Because, yeah, I've got, I've got a few of those. And they're just, they're really special, you know? Thank you. So yeah, and, and the viewers too, if you have any, you know, amazing story, or, or even like a really interesting story about, you know, those music moments that take you back. Uh, music memories? Are they music memories? Yeah, definitely leave them in the comments or in a video response. We love video responses. Video responses are cool. Um, yeah. I don't remember if Laura or Zoe had any questions. If they do, I'm really sorry that I forgot about your question. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Um, the videos aren't over yet. I forgot. So, as Zoe said, <sighs> Laura's not gonna be here tomorrow. Or, n tomorrow, tomorrow. The Wednesday. She's not gonna be here. And we've been, we've been reading all your entries and stuff. And Zoe's gonna pick that. Yeah. Also, one more thing I forgot to talk about. We have done this weird thing that you may think is really weird, but we've created a voicemail line. If you want to leave us voicemails about anything, um, the number is e trike zero. So yeah. Ah, my hair. And if we really, really like your super cool voicemail, we'll feature it on the show. Yeah. Oh! Crap. 
I think the area code's 832 or something. I need to go check that. There's an area code. It's a U.S. number. If you're out of the country, um, sorry, it would take, it probably going to cost you like $5,000 to call us or something. But if this voicemail thing works out, maybe we can get another one in a different country. I don't know which country that would be. I don't know what our second most viewer country thing is. Sorry, but yeah, it's a U.S. number. I'm going to go double check the zip code real fast. Just a sec. 832. Yes, okay, bye!